Finally, this is new Tu-160 world's most fearsome bomber. Russia's top military brass plans to arm two pull of Tu-160 supersonic strategic bombers with Kinjal hypersonic missiles, a source in the defense industry told TASS on Monday. The Kinjal and Zirkin are both hypersonic missiles that were developed by Russia in recent years. The Kinjal is an air-launched ballistic missile that can travel at speeds of up to Mach 10. The Zirkin is a hypersonic cruise missile that can travel at speeds of up to Mach 8. The Kinzel missile, also known as the Iskander-M, is a Russian ballistic missile system that is designed for precision strikes against a variety of targets. It is typically launched for mobile launchers on the ground. The Zirkin missile, also known as the 3M22 Zirkin, is a hypersonic missile being developed by Russia. It is designed to be launched from various platforms, including submarines and surface ships. The Zirkin missile is expected to have a range of over 1,000 kilometers and the capability to travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5. However, there are also some challenges that would need to be overcome if the 260 were to be upgraded. The aircraft is old and outdated, and it would need to be extensively modified to carry the new missiles. Additionally, the 260 is not as stealthy as some of the other aircraft that Russia uses to carry hypersonic missiles. Overall, it is unclear whether Russia will actually upgrade the 260 to carry Kinjal or Zirkin missiles. However, if it does, it would be a significant development in Russia's military capabilities. In addition to the Kinjal and Zirkin, there are other new missiles that could potentially be carried by a new 260 upgrade. These include the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, the Burevesnik nuclear-powered cruise missile, and the Poseidon underwater nuclear drone. The Avangard is a hypersonic glide vehicle that can travel at speeds of up to Mach 20. It is designed to evade enemy defenses by flying through the atmosphere at very high altitudes. The Burevesnik is a nuclear-powered cruise missile that can travel at speeds of up to Mach 20. It is designed to have a very long range, making it difficult to intercept. The Poseidon is an underwater nuclear drone that can travel at speeds of up to 50 knots. It is designed to be used against coastal targets. If a new 260 upgrade were to be equipped with any of these new missiles, it would be a very potent weapon system. It would be able to strike targets at long ranges with devastating effect. However, it is important to note that these are just rumors and speculation at this point. There is no confirmed information about a new 260 upgrade with new missiles. The possibility of deploying Kinjal missiles on two 160 aircraft is being considered. The work on this option is due to be completed this year, the source said. The source did not specify, however, whether operational or upgraded two 160 bombers would be armed with Kinjal hypersonic missiles. TASS has no official confirmation of this information yet. If Russia were to upgrade the 260 to carry these new missiles, it would give the aircraft a significant boost in its capabilities. The Kinjal and Zirkin are both very difficult to intercept, and they would give the 260 a much greater range and destructive power. Another source in the Russian defense industry told TASS that there were plans to test Kinjal hypersonic missile systems aboard a 222M3 long-range bomber. The 2160 is a multimode supersonic strategic missile-carrying bomber with a variable sweep wing. Russia's top brass announced its decision to restart the production of the Tu-160 strategic bomber in its upgraded Tu-160M version at the Kazan Aircraft Enterprise. An upgraded Tu-160M prototype derived from an operational Tu-160 bomber took to the skies for the first time. The upgraded bomber features advanced flight and navigation equipment, communications, a new radar and electronic countermeasure system. The bomber is capable of carrying up to 12 strategic cruise missiles on two multi-position rotating launchers inside the fuselage. Kinjal Hypersonic Missile System The Kinjal is the latest Russia airborne system that consists of a MiG-31 Kelvin aircraft as a delivery vehicle and a hypersonic missile. According to media reports, a Kinjal missile is the airborne version of the Iskander tactical missile system. New trials of Kinjal Hypersonic Complex to show bomber's ability to boost missiles. The 222M3 is a long-range hypersonic missile-carrying bomber designed to hit ground and sea targets. The trials of the Kinjal hypersonic complex aboard the tuple of 222M3 strategic bomber are needed to check the aircraft's ability to boost the complex's missiles, former commander of Russia's long-range aviation Mikhail Operin told TASS on Monday. The 222M3 aircraft suits perfectly for Kinjal hypersonic missiles trials by its mass and volume characteristics, he said. The tests are needed to see whether it will be capable of accelerating the missile and to get the results. For long-range aircraft pilots, the missile is sooner of the tactical scope but at the same time it has clear advantages by its capabilities of breaching enemy anti-ballistic missile defenses, the former commander said. As the Russian general noted, the Kinjal is a heavy missile designed precisely for long-range bombers. I believe it is speed that matters. The MiG-31 has higher supersonic speed than the 222M3 but now that a possibility has emerged to test the missiles aboard a long-range plane, this has to be done. This will raise the combat potential of the aerospace force and add might to it, the former commander said. 
A source in the Russian defense industry earlier told TASS that hypersonic missiles of the Kinjal complex would be tested aboard the Tu-22M3 strategic bomber.